sweet potato pie. So the first thing I need for a sweet potato pie is some sweet potatoes. Here they are, come out of the ground. I like to wash mine first, just to get the dirt off. Get a pot. These are the kinds of pots that are available in all the villages in Malawi. Straight sides, cylindrical, with a flange, so that you can pick it up off the fire. Some water for boiling. Now we need to make a fire. This is my wood stove, properly known as a baola. You build a fire inside and the pot sits on top. The three protrusions allow you to rest pots of different sizes. A hole in the front is where you feed in firewood and also the air comes in that way. I've modified the design by adding this grate, which I had the local welder build me. It holds the wood off the ground a little bit, allowing air to get underneath. It makes this burn uh, with a little less smoke, which is a big improvement. I've developed quite an elaborate ritual for actually making the fire. First, to start the fire, I use a Chibuku beer carton. This is about the same material that you'd find a milk carton made of back in the States. It's usually pretty easy to find these cartons. I just go outside the local watering hole on Sunday morning. Lately, they've switched to plastic bottles, so I don't know what I'm going to do when my stock runs out. This is the first stage of tinder. The second stage of tinder is this. This is sugarcane husks left behind by people snacking on sugarcane. It dries out. It's uh, very waxy and burns quite well once it's dry. The locals don't understand what I'm doing when I'm picking this stuff up. Then the third stage is the wood. And the fourth stage is the real crapshoot, where I actually try to light this. If I'm lucky, it'll go. Sometimes it'll take me two tries, but I've gotten pretty good at this. Once I've got some decent coals and I've heated up the baula, then I can put on the pot. Now that the sweet potatoes are properly boiled, I need to peel and mash them. Peeling boiled sweet potatoes can get a little messy, but it's pretty straightforward. For the most part, I can just slide the peel off with my fingers. And once I've peeled the sweet potatoes, I mash them the old-fashioned way with a good strong steel fork in a steel bowl. Steel forks you can get in the cities. I think the steel bowl can come from the cities as well. Uh, this one I inherited from a previous Peace Corps volunteer. Once I've mashed the sweet potatoes, I want to measure them out to two cups. This is what I use for a cup measure. Small bowls are available in probably every village in Malawi. So it's known as the bowl 399. So that's one cup. And two cups with just a little left over. 